Welcome to the Pretty and Profiting Show, your favorite show for branding, beauty, business, and the truth of how to be a boss lady and build your empire. Pause the show right now and grab your free gift at ProfitablePersonalBrand.com slash hot. It's a workbook and audio training on five high-performing strategies to dominate your market and add an extra thousand to ten thousand dollars to your bottom line. And now your host. She's a fierce, creative freaking genius who is known by many as Nikki Hustle. Nicole K. Lundy. You don't know what you don't know. And that's real talk. It's a true story. And that's why at some point in your business career, growing your business, you need to hire a mentor. Now, entrepreneurship is one of those jobs <laughs> that a lot of us take on and there's no clear cut way on how to promote, how to grow, how to up level, how to succeed. There's just not. There's a million different. It's not like when I was in finance where you go from being a financial analyst and then you want to be a finance manager, then a finance director, then a managing director, then vice president, and then CEO, probably never because that spot is like, you know, the person holds it down for 20 years. Oh, by the way, this is your host, Nicole K. Lundy, and it's the Pretty and Profiting Show. And you might have noticed that today we're talking about hiring a mentor. So, you don't know what you don't know is so real being an entrepreneur that it's critical that at some point you hire mentors that can help you get you that, that can help you get to your next level of success. But you need to be able to identify the mentor that you need next. Now, I was just talking to one of my business girlfriends about this that a lot of entrepreneurs get caught up in the fame of working with the titans in in a particular field. So whether it's a sales coach or a branding coach or a business coach or whatever, whatever the specialty is, it's like the the fascination of being in this person's circle when in reality that person is not the next step for you to grow your business. When I first started back in 2009, I literally jumped because I had to um, out of corporate finance, working at Dow Jones in Princeton, New Jersey, to opening up my beauty consulting business. Now, at the time, I didn't know that what I was doing was seeking a mentor. But what I did was I emailed every top makeup artist in New York City and said, look, I want to apprentice with you. I want to work with you. I want to learn from you. And out of the all of all of the people I <laughs> I reached out to one person, Leora, my favorite, one of my favorite people, um, took me under her wing and it was tremendous what I learned from her. I mean, she was a veteran in the makeup industry. So within my first six months of leaving my finance job, I was on high profile photo shoots with the Jackson 5, um, TV shoots, doing New York Fashion Week, a host of other things that just would not have happened if I did not have a mentor. Now, as I was transitioning, so fast forward a few years ago or after that, I should say, when I was transitioning from the beauty consulting business into personal branding, I then hired another mentor to help me do that transition. And then a few years after that, I hired another mentor to help me up level the growth in my business and my sales. Now, I, through trial and error, learned the importance of hiring a mentor. But when I looked at it and said, let me take notes on how and why did I hire a mentor? It was for the same reason of I don't know what I don't know. There's only so many free classes, webinars, telesummits, whatever that I could jump on and learn from. There's only only so many business books where it's, you know, general information about a particular subject that I still need to turn around and apply to my business. There's only so much I could do of that. 
And I want a concentrated, accelerated approach to get to my next level of success. And I realize that not a lot of people do that. They get caught into, if I work with this person, then, you know, I'm in that six, I'm going to hit six figure range next year or seven figure range. And it doesn't always work like that. Everybody always highlights their success stories. Not everybody highlights the people who weren't so, you know, successful under their wings. It's just the nature of the beast. So when we come back, I'm going to tell you questions you need to ask when you're looking, you know, really considering people that you want to work with as a mentee, hiring them as your mentor. So we're going to take a quick break because... I want you to take some good notes. We'll be right back. Join the Pretty and Profiting Posse. If you are a real deal woman entrepreneur creating wealth and making a global impact with your business, represent yourself. Head on over to prettyandprofiting.com and get your merchandise. Profit in style. So today we're talking about hiring a mentor because it's so important as an entrepreneur to really get some concentrated, customized advice for up-leveling and getting to your next level of success in your business. Now, I don't want you to get caught up and become a groupie of, you know, the famous entrepreneurs and feel that you're in, your key to hitting your, your next revenue goal, your next whatever goal is working with this person. There's a lot of people that may be a better fit for you. And if you get caught up in the groupie mentality, you can't, your business suffers nine out, nine out of 10 times that it happens. And you also want to have the mindset that when you hire a mentor, they actually work for you. You need to be comfortable asking the questions that you need to ask, getting really clear on, you know, both of you being on the same page of what you want to achieve, where you're going in your business and the steps and making sure that they know the steps to cut that time in half to at least in half, I should say, um, because they've done it before. They can show you the shortcuts. They can help you eliminate the obstacles and, and, and things that slow you down in the process. They work for you. So when you prepare for, you know, talking to a mentor to see if you have rapport and to see if you're the right fit, you want to say, you know, have questions prepared, like, how would you handle this? Or what is the most important thing I should be doing that I'm not doing? I know you can't go into detail right now, but just, you know, I want to share how you think to make sure that there's some sort of uh, alignment going on there. Um, what are the critical things that I need to work on first with you? What are the big risks that I should anticipate? You know, do I have the right team? How do you spend most of your time? What is the average, you know, percent and increase of, you know, business growth, sales growth, revenue growth that your clients achieve when working with you? What are your success habits? Do you have a mentor? What else should I do to be surrounding myself And lastly, what is the investment to work with you? So those are some questions for you just to get started. But the important thing is that I want you to pay attention, one, to what the answers are that you're getting from your potential mentor. What are their, you know, the mannerisms, the habits? Do you, do you, do you feel like you can trust your destiny, your legacy with this person? Because that's what essentially what you're doing. Do you feel like you can be vulnerable, that you can really share what's going on in your business? Look, as entrepreneurs, we go through some shit. That's just real. (laughs) Not some normal stuff. Some real, you know, back against the wall stuff. It's just the nature of the beast. So you want to be able to have a mentor where you could be vulnerable and say, look, This is what's going on. What should I do? How can I course correct? How can I still get to this goal that I'm trying to get to with, you know, this obstacle and this setback happening? You need to be able to be comfortable doing that. So when you hire your mentor, you need to be clear that they are working for you. They need to be clear on the goals you're trying to get. You need to be clear that this is the person 
and and it's really a gut feeling. You need to have that absolute 100% sure gut feeling that this is the next person you need to work with to get you to your next level of success. There should be no room for doubt in this decision. Okay, hiring a mentor is critical because I can't stress it enough. You don't know what you don't know. And every time I have hired a mentor, my business has increased at a minimum of 300%. So finding the right mentor is key. And I've actually had a couple mentors fire me because we had such an honest relationship. They told me, Nicole, I've done everything I could do for you. And I think we're done. So, you know, the six month contract, if you're in agreement, I think we can mutually close this contract. That's another story for another day. But the only reason that can come from that, that honesty and real <laughs> revealment can come is because the pers- we had that honesty from the beginning. So hire the right mentor. Do not be afraid to fire the wrong mentor. Be committed to your success. Be committed to your legacy. Be committed to your life. Be committed to your empire. Be committed to your brand. I don't care who you hire, your team member, your hire, your your mentor, everybody needs to be in alignment. And if they're not, they need to get out of the team, get out of the way. Okay, so Nicole K. Lundy, pretty and profiting. You know how we do. We keep it real. We're building our empires and I will see you on the next episode. Bye. Thank you for tuning in to this episode of Pity and Profiting. Want to learn more about me and what I do? Head on over to ProfitablePersonalBrand.com. Also, I have a super juicy giveaway for one lucky show subscriber. If you want to enter, you just have to do two simple things. One, subscribe to the show. Two, leave a review on iTunes or Stitcher. And you'll be entered into this month's $25 Sephora gift card giveaway. Thank you for tuning in. Until next time, stay pretty and stack those profits.